Morning! Hello and welcome to my daily blog of life on a beef and arable farm. I feel like a druid or something when I wear this hat, uh, wear this coat even. Um, yeah, big mix here already, um, so you'll have something to say about that being here before me, I'm sure. Andy's here, and um, yeah, let's get some cows fed and bedded down. Andy's already get started with the 130. Where's the big mick at? That art's for the best, I can't, that's for whipping it week after next. I need that, I want it clean. Listen, I need to have a talk to you about uh, my oxo. <laughs> you want me to tell you? No. How do you do my oxo? What do you mean, how do I do it? How do you make my oxo drink? Um, I put your, I put your cube in, yeah. and I get me, get me spoon and I go... No, no, wrong, wrong. Why? Right, I tell you how to do it right. Always wash hands, yeah? And before you put the oxo in, you get your fourth finger and thumb and squeeze it like that to a pulp. As long as your hands are clean, I, don't I'm mind. not putting oxo on my hands, no way. You're going to be having a laugh. It's not happening. Oh, no, we're in a it's good mood. So I'm going to have stinky, stinky oxo then hands. Then you wash your hands. What? So I've got to wash my hands first. Gotcha. Mess have. about with your oxo. Yeah. Wash, your, wash my hands again. Yeah. Put some, get pepper out of it. Put some pepper. Two peppers. Yeah, a cup of tea for you, I think, today. A testicles. Dandy, Mick says he's not stopping late today. No, no. Will he be here for dinner, though? What do you think? Will you be here for dinner? Listen, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to look after you, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> I've been dinner here for 27 odd years. I can't stop now, and everyone will be starting. You'll be... So you are stopping then, I'm guessing. I'll stay for an hour. Yeah, yeah, I thought so, yeah. Straight off to dinner, boom. See you later, guys. Thanks for bacon, Sardi. Bye-bye. I can't believe it. I give him two big mickats so that he's got two to wear. So he can have one good one and one farm one or whatever. It comes in a Joe Seals one. What a man. What a man. Anyway, it's time for me to jump on the TM320S. We'll get these cows fed. So I've got the mister down there, opening the gates for me. And he'll be doing it for Andy as well in a bit, so we can get everywhere strawed up. But it's a nice morning, <clears throat> not a cloud in the sky. Actually a bit of um, ice on my windscreen before I set off to work. These guys looking happy, I think Andy might have fetched some straw around here already. No, he's not. No, no, he's not done these yet. He'll be on it though soon. So in this pen, I do not like the look of that one. Stood on its own at the back of the pen. So I think we'll be getting that out and injecting it. It's not too bad. But it's not great. There's a reason why it's on its own. It's not feeling very well. So we've got some massive pain on. Um, Andy's done the shear bolt, which is not an issue, not a problem, whatever, it happens. But the there's like a little thing that the shear bolt sits in and that's come out and we don't know where it is um so whether it's got smashed and come out when it were going or what so it's a bit that goes in there we've lost and then the shear bolt goes through it you'd think it'd stay in inside wouldn't you you thought so there didn't much of a gap to actually get it out unless it came out this top end, but it's just unlucky, like if it has. So that's all quite compact, isn't it? Yeah, I think going in. Me and Andy now are just surveying the landscape. If anybody does spot it in the video, <laughs> please let us know. Look, who's a clever boy, eh? Lifesaver, aren't you, eh? I'm the best. I knew there were a reason you were coming today. Exactly. No. And that's the reason. I've hurt my wages already. You that, have. Which not. That's... We could have got one. It was up at Ripon. I've just rung Pete at Ripon Farm Services. It says they have got one, but at least we can carry on now. This one's just been, so my day's just brightened up. I think it's to me, anyway. Um, so we'll open that at coffee time, see what that's all about. Hey, Mick. What? Can I have another bacon signing for that? I bet I'm a lifesaver. Oh, yeah. Do I get extra wages? Yeah, double your wages today, mate. I'll, I'll quadruple him. Tell you what, quadruple him. Ah. Times zero, zero. Four times zero, zero. Ah. Mrs. Pheasant's in the yard now. 
Give us something to eat. Oh, it's nice to see. It's coffee time. An Oxo mixer. Do that. There we go. Then I'll stir it up for him. I'll fetch you, fetch you a biscuit out for your, uh, yeah. for your well deserved treat this morning. Yeah. She made us all happy. Mm. <laughs> And, and you can't have one. Mm, two stone in how long? Till Whitby in two weeks? No, two weeks. Mate. Where you going? Tenerife. Tenerife, nice. <laughs> Six, 12, 12 pack of your <laughs> Big gun will be that 12 pack. Gold chain? Maybe. Maybe. Too old now. <laughs> Somebody has sent me, it's got some absolute fuck. How much do you think it'd be to post them at the Royal Mail, special delivery on a Saturday? 20 quid. £16.38. Mm, I'm not far out. You're not far out, are you? Much more, are It's a lot of money. You having problems, Jay? Yeah, I'm having issues. It's a good mm. box, this. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to save it? I'm trying to... Oh, oh. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Bitch, man. A torch! Look at that. Nice. Still. What's that? Still yeah. ruler. <laughs> oh, we should have done this with more packing, because there's lots of stuff in here. Oh, nice. A stick. Is that a mug or a flask? It is a flask, isn't it? Jammy bugger. Ha 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 get a torch? Oh. Oh, you jammy oh. bugger. Multi tool for still. Nice. We've got. It's still chips off. Mm. Oh, business. Hat. Cool. And another one. Oh. Look at that! Thank you very much, still. Oh, we got a little left. Let's tell me Hi, Joe, Andy, and M. Thanks for all the content you're making, quality stuff. Here's some goodies for you to share out between yourselves <clears throat> that you missed out at, out on at Riffin. With all those gifts you get sent, let's cross our fingers, you'll get sent a helicopter. Keep <laughs> <People laughs> up the good work. Henry Ashcroft. Oh, congrats on the new tractor. Thanks a lot, Henry. So H Henry's dad works for um, Still, and I didn't speak to him at Ripon, but um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to get some stuff. I've just got a little key ring thing off him. But thank you very much to Still, and if people are wanting a chainsaw or anything, it's the only brand, isn't it, let's face yeah, it. Yeah, good. good. Good quality. We have uh, Still Forklifts at our place, they bang on. Oh, Still Forklifts? Still Forklifts, but like I don't... a proper forklift? Proper forklift, electric, electric one. Huh? Yeah. What, another... Orange yeah. like that? Uh, yeah. I've never seen them. Well, I don't get a pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> on a torch. You've got your own merch, mate. You don't need it, on do you? On a torch. You've got your own merch, but you don't wear it. You still wear your OXO top. Yeah, but I've got my best one on. Yeah. Uh, Can I borrow your still chainsaw, please? <laughs> <laughs> because you've been such a superstar, Michael, it's not a problem at all this morning. Have you not used I'll even it? let you use my tool, because you'll no. need to sharpen it, won't you? Have you sharpened it yet? No, I don't need sharpening. It's funny, Andy, because every time I use it, I sharpen it, and then every time I come to use it again, it's blunt. All right, then. We'll get to a point. I don't know how to sharpen it. <laughs> and he's chose the hat. Yeah, business. Thank it, you. It is good. It's like a cool hat, that, isn't it? Is it? Now with hoodie or whatever. It fits nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Oh, Squishy's here. What do you want, Squish? Yeah. He's got some lights. Thinking about nine meter possibly. Mm. How many? What are there? That's a lot. Bushka. You know that one outside in front of my house. It's all candy. Mm. It's the garage. Oh yeah. That one on front of my back in my garage. Mm. That's thirty watt, and that one takes got some light out. Yeah. So four hundred. We need some light on the nine meter. Yeah. You can see it. That'll light up the world. Up. <laughs> <laughs> That's business, yeah. Yeah, nice. We need to sort out nine meters. There's um, 
they don't work on boom, do they? I think the wires no. cut at some point. I don't know whether they'll be better on the cab or on the boom, I don't know. Yeah. The machine started up first time this morning. Um, we'll have a look. We may be giving it a clean today and also checking this, uh, it's really mucky, checking this wiring out. The work lights there that are pointing in each direction um, don't work. So I'm tracing the wire back down the boom. Standing way back and zooming in. There looks like it's been taped. Head to the back of the machine, open it up, and I think I'll get to it a lot easier this way. Yes, here we have it. So, uh, yeah, I feel some wire coming through there. So this has been taped up before. This is where the, the wire moves all the time. You can see it's in a conduit there. It's in a conduit there. This bit's taped up, so this bit's like, had some work done on it before, because that should all be conduit. So we'll unwrap that and we'll see uh, see what disasters we've got under here. So straight away in the unwrapping process, I've only done it like a couple of seconds and look at that. So we'll keep unwrapping and then uh, we get these joined back together. We should have lights on the front and then if Andy wants to put the, the LEDs on, we can maybe crack on and uh, get some plugs for them and uh, and install them at a later date. Hang on, hang on. I know, I know you've you've done a good job this morning, like, but it's not to do with that. It's to do with what? Been here. What you say? What do you want Andy to do anyway? Just get get bucket and these four great lumps of wood up there. I've just sawed off just to put them back in my car. Ah. Heavy. We, I'm sure we've got a wheelbarrow, aren't we, somewhere? There's two in there. There is. There's two actually. Isn't there? Yeah. You're always going to make it nasty, aren't you? <laughs> um, Joe Seals. Are you going to sharpen my chain now? Oh, no, I'm not going to cock on a hood, you know. <laughs> Joe Seals. Nasty. I'll, I'll put you through some training. Uh -huh. I'll give you training. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, me and Andy have just sorted this. I, I did sort of alarm him and pretend that he'd got my finger, but um, that should now work. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Um, we might just we might just we'll just try it and then um we'll tape it all back up and should hold it together for a few years <laughs> so you see where it's been rubbing actually there look rubbing the paint off yeah okay so they're still not working fantastic so yeah the reason it wasn't working is because underneath this uh, sheath in here um it's been soldered together before and it's uh, yeah, it snapped off. So we'll have to start that bit again. I'll have to get another um, crimp connector and uh, crimp these together. So I've had to do a bit of a bodge because uh, I ain't got the proper connector just to put them together. But if I get them taped up, we should be all right. Hopefully. Yeah, the, the lights seem to be on when they were up in the air, but they're not now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, there we go. Job done. Right, we're gonna give this a real good blast down and then we can look at like the battery connectors and stuff on it um i mean the earth lead sorry uh, try and find that and sort the job out a little bit so i'm covered in muck now um andy's just gone to get the bucket we're gonna just try and lift the front axle off so i can get underneath get that clean and then um i want to just have a look if i can find the um the earth wire back to the chassis so try and get off all the muck from underneath off so Andy's got it kicked up now, and I'll just um, from the side point the uh, point everything underneath and get it cleaned. There it is, wheels off the ground. I must say I'm normally the first person to pull you up, but you have actually stuck to the diet today. Business. He had a what was it? A rasher of bacon and Ration, two rashers of bacon and an omelette. No biscuits. No biscuits. Nothing. <laughs> We've had his bacon sandwiches or in mixed case omelette um, and we're going to, uh, I'm trying to get my coat on, um, we're going to try and have a look at this JCB and see if we can get the, uh, get to where the, the wire meets the chassis and just see if it's all alright. Got to ring Mr B up though I think because he might know where, it actually, where to actually find it, I think he said he'd done one another day so. 
go and do that now. So Andy might have found an issue, hopefully. Um, so the isolator, which is, just point to it Andy, that bit, um, it's got like the negative lead goes to it. No, and then you said it was like finger tight, didn't you? Yeah, yeah just on the back one. Um, so yeah, well, that's one thing that we've tightened up, which might solve something, I don't know. I think it is possibly like, when it's getting cold, it's like the, the metal would be contracting. So then maybe there's just not enough connection between them. Like, you know, we're talking about little feet, just something really small. And we're just hoping it's not something simple. Well, we're hoping it's something simple like that. We need to, that we can sort out ourselves. So we're just gonna check through all these little bits and then if it works, it works. Oh, I've just had Robin on the phone from Mr. Oli Bloggers. And he said, um, obviously Andy found the loose terminals on the isolator. Then what we've also done is checked the earth strap that's under here. And we also checked the earth strap that is in here, just at the back down here. But these are tight and the one that was uh, under the boom there was tight as well. <gasps> So, seeing as fingers, that, because it was loose on the isolator, that's been the cause of all our problems. And like we said about starting it, I was earthing to the frame, and you were earthing off the battery. Right? Yeah, so when I've been starting it, I've been um, putting my earth lead to the battery terminal, whereas Andy's been putting it to a wheel nut. So. When Andy's been starting, it's been starting it perfect and we thought he had the magic touch, but it's because he's maybe rerouting the earth and it's not going through the um, loose terminal that we've now tightened up. Do you know what? If it is this, really, really happy days. Really, really happy days. Really. So Andy's just going to pass me the, um, the this bit up. I'm going to put this back on. Um, yeah. Oh. yeah, um, yeah, put all this back together and then, um, job should be a good one, hopefully. There's a lot of straw everywhere though, that's the trouble. Well, me and Andy have just gone to town on it, giving it a clean up. Tell you what, it's looking a lot better than it did this morning. Fingers crossed, fingers and toes, and everybody's prayers that we've fixed it, but hopefully, otherwise it is a big bill. Um, hmm, what do you reckon? Andy! Andy! You wanting to work late tonight? No. I thought you said you were. I thought we'd gone to town on it, I was finishing it off. No, I thought you wanted to... Uh, to work late so it's oh, dark. I want to see the lights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These LED lights. I know I'm I know I'm biased and everything, but that chrome stuff is really, really good, that clean and green. Like you we hadn't itch it with a sponge or like that, we just blasted it, then we blasted some of that clean and green on, takes it straight off, it's like TFR or something. So me and Andy are Sorting out this bale. Oh, I'll climb up. I'm not getting any younger, Andy. And because these guys are really looking for this here, we'll demolish it. It'll be gone probably by tomorrow morning. Right, yeah. Yes. So the next before and after is going to be the 6930. I mean, look at this. We can we can hardly see. That's white. It's supposed to be black. The windows are on another level. So we'll hit them. Weight blocks, mucky. Ah, yeah, it's a disgrace. Just been looking at these lights, and I think these have been bent at some point. I reckon that should be more running straight because that's not. It's not running straight with the other side. So we're just going to try and pull it with the strap and the other JCB, get it back straight. And he's just gonna pull it now. 
Jij ja, kwam. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it just might just be on this. I thought it might have been pushing on the plastic, but I don't think it actually is. Um, right, go on then. Try, try a bit more. Yep. Let's pull it a bit straighter. Then we'll just have to lift it up. We'll pull it up in air. Uh, yeah, just back a little bit. Not much. Yeah, that'll do, Andy. Lift her up. Go on. Whoa, hold it there. Just put it back down, see where it rests. I think that'll be all right. Yep. No, so that's it. We should have the lights about square, hopefully. Uh, oh no, they're not. Might need to go up again. We'll win again. Right, I'll just try and tilt this down. Oh. Do you look better? Andy's just looking, finishing this. I've also put some TFR on the mixer, and that's brought it up nice. It's just doing windows now. And I'm going to jump on the meal machine, the TM320S, the unclean JCB, um, and get some of these cattle fed. And then I think Andy will probably have to just do the rest of the mix for me to get, get through tonight. Beast. I like airplanes as well as helicopters. He's just blasting my dad's lorry off just in case. So you'll, get, you'll get angry. I don't know where I put me out. I think it's in the JCB. But it is time for clean mix of engines. Tina Archer, happy birthday. Sean Harden, who is 30, big 3 0. That's love from his wife and his kids. And a happy birthday to Mark Head as well. Thank you very much, everyone, for donating to Yorkshire Air Ambulance. And thanks to everyone at home who are watching through these um, little clips. Because uh, it's helping to save people's lives by, yeah, the air ambulance getting to people in remote locations. Like, it helps us as farmers, it helps people out in rural locations. It's a fantastic charity and it's all charity funded. No help from the government. Um, which is a bit weird, I think. Anyway, we're going to get on the TM again and get these fed round. Andy's now going to use the mixer. So that's why we've done it now, because um, otherwise it's going to get very noisy. And we're going to get some cats fed. It does walk well that like nine meter once it's cleaned up. Tidy! So Andy's got on the left hand side the LED, on the right hand side normal light. Yeah, you can see it's. Uh... I'm just copying what Ollie did really, aren't I? Yeah. Let, me, let people put comment in the bottom. They'll just be like, oh, join Andy, you're copying what Ollie's done. It's a darker shadow from the LED light than it is from the other light. Quite a light. Is it? Yeah, he's the other one. Uh. And he's got the light blocker. <laughs> Brilliant. Just auto focuses on. We can work it out. I'm looking at this video, but the, the LED is a lot brighter, but it's all focused in that one. The, the, the halogen is like more spread out, but it's not quite as bright. Whereas the LED is really bright in that circle there, and then everywhere else is a bit like, you know, probably still brighter than this, but not as. I don't know. Yeah. Pros and cons of these LEDs. So yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. Andy might put his other LED on there and uh, see how he gets on with it. Are you hungry? Not sure you know. I think, I was just about to say, I think there's LED lights and then there's LED lights. Um, and Andy got them cheap off Wish, I think, or something. Um, so, 
Yes. Maybe like the ones that are on the JCB are high quality. You know, the standard. I don't know. I mean, they charge you an absolute fortune for them, so maybe they should be. Are they any different? I don't know. Somebody let me know in comments. I think we've got a bullock here that's been sucking this effort. Let's see if he has another go now. <clears throat> yeah, look. So we'll have to uh, try and put a stop to that. Might even be, I, think, I think it is an effort actually, it's, it's sucking on it. Um, yeah, might have to put a ring in his nose or something. A nightmare. And he's just sorting the mix. Two clean machines there. Nice. And he's just getting us a, a bail down now. Uh, using pallet forks, just, I don't know. We probably should have used the spikes, but, um, but he's got one. I think, just about. So I'm gonna put that in the pen, because we've got a few more coming from Gisborne tonight. So uh, they'll want some fresh hay. So I've gone old school with the fork. And um, just fed out along to all these guys. Quite a few in this pen, and I just thought they're all looking a little bit hungry. So we'll reduce the competition for the hay and just spread it out a little bit. We could use the teagle that Andy's put in away there um, to blow the hay out, but I think we'd probably end up wasting it with how we've got the troughs and stuff. Um, but, um, but yeah, that would be an option if we wanted to do it a bit more often. But I just like doing it every now and then. It just keeps me, keeps me active a little bit. So it can be easy just to sit on the tractor seat all day. So Andy's just put in. <laughs> it's flashing. Look, he's uh, just put in the 130 away. And that's everything in. Clean, sort of clean, sort of clean, very clean. Um. Clean, but going the wrong way. And then this thing's just filthy. We just didn't get time to do that. Look, Andy's nearly backed everything in as well. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we have a cold day tomorrow morning and we get to test if the nine meter starts or not. So check out tomorrow to see if it does actually start. Um, yeah, and if you've liked today's video, I think it's gonna have been a long one. I'm, I've not put it together yet, but I think I've done Quite a few bits have gone on and gone off and stuff like that. Finding the bolt at the end this morning though was just a highlight. Yeah. Um, what else have we done? We put your LED lights on, like washed that. a couple of tractors. Yeah. Uh, got the wiring working on the. Thing. Oh yeah, sorted the wire. It's been productive today, haven't we? Really, for a Saturday. Things that needed doing. Yeah, yeah. Just them little catch-up jobs and yeah. stuff. So, yeah. If you've liked it anyway, guys, remember to press the like button, subscribe if you've not already. Uh, check out joeseals.com for the merchandise. That really helps us out. And um, yeah, we'll catch you. Oh, there's, I want to say, I want to tell you about something that's exciting me. I think it might be better telling you when it comes. Yeah. yeah. Just, we've just added a bit of an explosion of companies contacting us at the minute. And there's something exciting might be coming in the next, I don't know how long it'll take, maybe a few months or whatever, but um, it's going to be the business let me tell you that right thanks for watching anyway guys leave it on that cliffhanger bye and still is family owned oh we're just I didn't know out. that that's good isn't it family owned since 1926 oh. yeah you don't think about these like um big, big yeah, companies really being weird. family owned no yeah, well check out my torch boom still torch Andre hey it looks still. good on here I'm guessing he's German. In the comments, is still German. That's still. Is that backwards? I don't know. It's mirrored, I think, on this screen. Yeah. Anyway, bye. <laughs>